Oh. Yeah. Okay, I do not care. I already know how to play as Sly and Bentley. Q. All right. So Sly has a job to pull off. Bentley has a job to pull off. See, another improvement from oh, yeah. part two. So we're gonna play as Bentley because cool. he's awesome and he's Bentley and he's my hero and I'm gonna be just like him when I grow up. <laughs> All right. So he's got this stuff as usual. He can zoom in and out and shoot the things. Um, they actually look like darts this time instead of just weird blobs. Okay. But, uh, missed. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's what I get for not being sneaky. Oh. So, uh, yeah, he does this. Um, you can actually, like, hold it out for a little okay. while and put it on things, which is neat. That is neat. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I guess he just has the double jump like that. Um, so he's basically tricked out his gear with mech options. Yeah. So this is an interesting thing. Oh. Wait, why is... What? Oh, okay. Why did it wait? Interesting. But yeah, that's something you can do as anybody. Um, so you would think it's just a Bentley thing just because it's green. but And it's got the, the trap hazards that get his little turtle boner going. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but no, it's anybody. Okay. Uh, so where am I supposed to go? I should probably be paying attention to that sort of thing, huh? Might be important. Um, I'll show you another cool Bentley thing when I come across an enemy. Okay. Well, at least his disgusting turtle footstep noises are gone. Mm -hmm. That's all. Yep. And it's good to see he still oh, has God his murder bone. Of course, there happened to be another guy. <laughs> and you still have your desire to see all of these characters filled with lead. Yes. Uh, let me in, let me in! Yeah. Oh, okay. I see what I'm doing. Yeah. Now they still aggro to you. Uh, no. Ah ha ha! Okay. You, you beat them with the power of a door. Way. Okay. And you do that. Oh, miss. <laughs> I am the best at this game again. Alright. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you an honorable death where you jump on this bomb to save your friends. <laughs> Never mind, none of your friends are nearby or that I put the bomb under you. Yeah, oh, wait, can I not do this? Wait, okay, what was it? Oh, wait, select. Oh, here we are, this is what I'm looking for. Yeah, you have to assign a gadget. Cool! Um, so... Oh, so now he can pickpocket, too. Yes, and so can Murray. Oh. And you're going to like Murray's way of doing it, too. Let me guess, he just grabs him and shakes him. That's correct. <laughs> Subtlety is for the weak. Hell yeah. See that? You just automatically get the coins. Now, here's another neat thing. Oh, shit. Wait, did I do that wrong? I think I did that wrong. Hmm. Okay, well... I mean, that's the thing that happened. I'm just gonna go to Bentley's place. <laughs> Yo! Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get oh, this them early. They get to her. Okay, I She's thought this was just part of a patrol. boss battle. I guess not. Can't be far behind. Oh, that's right. You do sure something one of those like this later. Yeah. By the time I get there. Gondola gang. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, why not? It's Sly Cooper. Sure. You just have to accept these things, mage. Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. They live in a universe where death and destruction is everywhere. Mm-hmm. I'll shoot you. You drive, Sly. A.K.A. You do everything because you're the player. Oh, it's a... Yeah, it's a chase thing. Okay. So it's an arcade racer shooter. Yes. All right. That's kind of neat. Yeah. And it's actually kind of difficult, um, if I remember correctly. Well, as long as it's not like Sly 1, where the difficulty is just completely borscht. Yeah. This reminds me so much of the Star Wars arcade game. I love that game. <laughs> nice. Well, have you ever seen one of those? It's like, I I am so tempted to save up money and get one. Okay. It, it's one of those arcades that has like a full peripheral system. Uh-huh. It's basically a first-person joystick shooter. Okay. Uh, but the cabinet has this big laid-back seat you get in, and it's kind of shaped like a cockpit. Okay. 
Um, and it's the original trilogy. And you get to pick which one you want to do first. And it's always broken up into a uh, flight section and an on foot section. Okay. Um, so it got like the whole Battle for Yavin. It's got the the Battle for Hoth, and it's got the Battle for Endor. Okay. And so you're in an X-wing fighter. You're in the snow speeder. You're on the speeder bikes racing through uh, the forest moon of Endor. Uh huh. And you're basically just shooting things, either on foot or in the the cockpit. And then it has a uh, lightsaber duel section. Okay. Where you use the the joystick like a lightsaber. Hmm. That's pretty cool. Oh shit. You did it. I almost got him. You did it! Yay! Yep. And I know I'm doing things wrong. Like, I know there are patterns and things like that. Yeah. It's just, let's play Curse. Yup. <laughs> AKA, yeah. actually, a real malady that happens because of concentration division. Yeah. <laughs> like, shit, that game and uh, Time Crisis 2. Oh, yeah. I got to the point where I could beat in a couple dollars. Nice. Considering how our arcade games are like crazy difficult. That's impressive. Well, the thing about the Star Wars game is uh, everything had preset spawn points. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you just memorized that shit. Yeah, I didn't memorize all of them, but there's a couple that specifically are there to get off hits on the player. Uh-huh. Um, because it's an arcade game. Yeah, I think the worst of them is on uh, the Battle for Endor. There's one Imperial officer that'll spawn in front of a tree. Mm -hmm. He takes his time to line up the shot, but he will always hit you on his shot uh -huh. if you don't kill him immediately. Okay. And it's a brown uniform at like 50 yards in a forest. Oh, so you just have to know he's there. Yeah, you have to know or have crazy good eyesight. Yeah. Because he is a living embodiment for why stormtroopers are a really stupid design. Uh huh. Because all the other stormtroopers, you see, like, clear as day in that forest. Yeah. They're shiny white, just a beacon that says, shoot me. Yeah. But the officers, in their grays and browns. Difficult, yeah. Hmm. Bentley giving himself a hernia through this race. Yeah. I mean, Another he's prone to damage. Control. This is true. This city's beautiful, but a <laughs> bit quiet for my taste. I guess you're Latina now. Yeah. Well, she kind of was in the first game. Sort of. Yeah, that's true. And then she turned English, and then <laughs> back to Latina, only much more pronounced. Maybe so. But what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Maybe. Besides, she's helped us out. Maybe. And stay with me for this one. Uh huh. Maybe this and is the third Carmelita. That's possible. And it, it's like the Coopers, where it's an entire clan. And the reason she hates him so much is because the previous generation keeps getting caught by Bentley. That's possible. And Bentley doesn't say anything to Sly, so Sly thinks it's the same person. Yeah, that would make sense. Or maybe the same thing that caught or that took Sly's face took Carmelita's voice. Oh! Oh, yeah, and they're doppelgangers. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's just stealing... It, it took Bentley's legs, too. Well, Let's Bentley's see. karma took Bentley's legs. Well, yeah. Wait, why can't I move? Oh, okay, bomb. there we go. Notice that it's on him. Yeah. <laughs> you can sticky bomb them. Exactly, it's beautiful. Like, there's just so much cool shit about this game. Dude, dude, you got something on you. What is it? Is it a spider? Get it off! No, it... it Blue and fuzzy. A blue fuzzy spider! Get it off! Oh my god. Oh, I see. If you get close enough, he actually lines up a shot. That's why he stops. All oh, right. okay. Yeah, that makes sense. All oh, right. that works. So we got some sly jobs, I guess. So I guess yeah. I'll just go back to the place. Yeah, oh. Bentley's murder boner has been satisfied. Mm -hmm. For now. The murder boner. I do like the design of... Uh, wheelchair Bentley. Along. Yeah, yeah, he actually, I think he looks better this way. Yeah. Like, before I started playing these games with you, that was the design that was in my head for Bentley. Uh-huh. Because, yeah, I'd seen him a couple of times before in his normal outfit, mm -hmm. but it just never registered with me, and the design for wheelchair Bentley really stuck with me. Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely looks a lot more interesting. 
And, like, it kind of fits him more, honestly. Yeah. Because it's all decked out in technology and shit like that. And it's kind of nerdy. Yeah. And kind of pathetic. Alright, so... Wait, why did I do that? <laughs> Wrong button. Okay, so I need to go up here, it looks like. Yeah, no, the, the visual design for a lot of the Cooper characters is really strong. Yeah, it really is. Like, these are good characters. Well, and they go through a lot themselves, so it's not just the visual design. Yeah. I think that was my big problem with the, the Jack and Daxter series, because the visual design wasn't terribly strong for a lot of Yeah, that's true. Daxter's just a weird little weasel Great. thing. You want me to take him? No, we need evidence that he's behind the city's tar <laughs> epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that, I don't know, attractive. Hold up, here he comes. <laughs> It's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. You bastard. Use your monocular cop to take photos. Sly, we can talk about your cognitive dissonance with your boculum later. <laughs> Follow him. He might be headed for some more polluting. For now, we need to deal with this Captain Planet villain. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much what he is. Sadly, we can't call on Captain Planet because there was a couple of teenagers I got my hands on last week that had some very fancy looking rings. I thought they were just props, but later on I found out I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Luckily, on the plus side, we can use these rings to destroy everybody. Well, that's what I thought at first, but apparently they only used with gifted youngsters and none of us count for either of those things now. <laughs> That is, until I can find a way to activate uh, innocence and purity of heart by proxy. Oh, he's doing this again. Oh! Ah, I should have known. Yeah, that battle rooster kind of tipped him off. Yeah. Oh. Well, that actually put him right in position, so why not? So, is there any reason he's doing this beyond we need a convenient villain? Um, I think so. I don't remember what it is, but I think there's a reason. Because this is comically evil. Yes. Fuck you, bird. Alright. But yeah, I recently replayed through a couple of the Jack and Daxter games, and there was a whole cast of characters I forgot even existed. Oh, that's not good. There's a whole bunch of times where in games I remember there's a character that fills a role mm -hmm. that I just forgot about. Yeah. But never before have I... Well, it's been a while, at least, since I forgot there was even the role to play. Yeah. Damn. I'm not gonna lie. There's a ton of stuff in the Sly Cooper games that I just completely blank on. Mm-hmm. It's like Sly Cooper and, uh... Oh, fuck. I thought there was a boat there. <laughs> shoot, what is that? Uh... Skies of Arcadia. Sly mm. Cooper and Skies of Arcadia are both in the same boat where I played them, I remember I enjoyed them at the time. Yeah. You put a gun to my head and ask me for plot details, and I will die. Yeah. Flying a delightful water wheel with deadly sticky tar. Monstrous. Alright, where do I take a picture from? Here? Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Well, no. that's not gonna work. <laughs> I think I just failed the job. Yup, you just drowned. Yup. Yeah, I have to get on a boat, okay. And you don't have your uh, parachute. Yeah. Which is rather unfortunate. Keep on it. We want to make sure all the there we go. How has he not been caught yet? I don't know. This is both comically evil and comically inept. Mm hmm. I do like the battle roosters. Yes, they're beautiful. Pretty much. Boingy, boingy. 
I kind of hope he starts singing Karma at some point. Yeah. I unironically like that opera. Yeah? Good opera. Mm -hmm. Also, so many tunes we know of, especially in cartoons, come from that one opera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the guy died right in front of you. Corpse falling on the ceiling? Nothing suspicious here. Mm-hmm. Oh, whoops. There. He's doing something, but what? I don't know, but I'm right in front of him. <gasps> he flooded that aquarium with tar. I'm having a hard time believing this too, Bentley. Mm -hmm. As much as I hate to see what heinous crime this fiend will do next, you should probably keep on his tail. Someday the people will know the truth due to your pictures. <laughs> I'm a good photojournalist. Like, for reals and for truth, why? Mm-hmm. I think he has a reason. I just don't remember what it is, so it must not be very compelling. No. Hey, Sami, get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. Ooh. Yeah. This energy of this Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast. Nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I want to oh, make a Oh, that's show. right. They it's a stupid reason. Even if they don't think it right. One way or the other, there be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, Cecil. So. That fiend! He's twisted a time modern amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing. Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. <laughs> Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, <laughs> will he? That'll do it. Now I planned this, so come off and roll down like the end of Prometheus. Mm -hmm. See? Oh wow, I was actually <laughs> correct. Yes, you were. Ooh, coins. Yeah, he turned him into coins. Ooh, which money. You can't even collect. His death was in vain. Alright, so over here. But yeah, just like you notice the first two things that I did. Wildly different. Yeah. No, that's always one of the strengths of this franchise. Definitely. Look, it's a litten. Nah. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go across. Yeah, they'll de-aggro when you start a mission. Yep, probably. Nice sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you can get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the. Ah, now we have hacking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch I thought that last mission was going to end with hacking, but it seems like that would have made the mission go on too long. Yeah. Plus, it was a sly mission. That's true. Well, this is also a sly mission, but it sounds like they're going to get into uh, the hacking stuff. That's true. <laughs> I love that animation. Mm-hmm. Well, it's got the, the bird neck bobble. Yeah, exactly. Ah, no, I don't want to die. Wuss. Dying is for manly men. Like well, Most manly men want to die in a dramatic way, not in a, oh, I got stabbed in the back while just wandering around way. Uh-huh. 
Ah, yeah, bitch death. <laughs> Cannon fodder death. Yes. It's the best death. Best death for sly villains. I love, like, named character deaths that just kind of happen <laughs> and don't get these big dramatic moments. Stank hates that so much. <laughs> I know, it's why he can't stand Gantz. Uh-huh. Because a whole, like, every character death is supposed to mean something. And to kind of, like, emphasize how fucked up the universe is, so many of them just die. Mm -hmm. Don't even get a screen presence. Fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. And, uh, like, the, the 1985 Transformers movie probably is the biggest version of this. Mm-hmm. Because to make way for uh, their new toy line, they basically had to slaughter the entire old cast. Mm -hmm. So you get a whole bunch of characters that have been around since episode one that don't even get an on-screen death. You just see their bodies. Mm -hmm. I'll let you focus on this. Yeah, well, it wasn't that hard. Okay. Um, like... The dude that made the Dinobots doesn't even get an on-screen death. You just see, like, like the I'm new characters dragging his body into a pile. Oh, God, that's horrible. Stuff. I know. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right. Or you get, like, one of the opening sequences is Megatron and a bunch of Decepticons ambush a, uh, a shuttle and just blast open the side and get in and just murder... Five named characters and just shoot them in the face. Holy shit! Like the one that gets it the worst is the the ambulance, who's been around since episode one. Mm -hmm. He gets shot in the chest, and you see his eyes go from blue to red, and then smoke come billowing out of his mouth before he collapses. Wow. <laughs> that movie didn't fuck around. No, because they wanted to get rid of those characters for toys. Yeah. Which, <laughs> like, I know. That just kind of ticks me off, honestly. Like, there are good reasons to murder characters just randomly, and then there are terrible reasons. So, I feel like the order from on high to murder these characters for the sake of the toy line mm -hmm. is kind of shitty, but I think they did the be the writers did the best they could. Yeah. Because for the first time in the entire franchise, it feels like you're actually watching a war. Yeah, that's true. Because there are casualties on both sides. Characters are dying in this fighting. Mm -hmm. One of the weirdest things about like G.I. Joe and Transformers is you have these big battle scenes. And then nobody dies. Yeah, and then everyone just kind of leaves, and then they're there again next week, because that's mm -hmm. how the toy line works. Yeah. And then you get the movie where you can actually kill people, and suddenly people are dropping left and right. Mm-hmm. And because they're robots, you can get away with all sorts of violent stuff. Like, you see an Insecticon run over and its face gets crunched in. Oh, Jesus. Um, like, it gets hit by one, and then it's barely hanging on, and then the guy behind him comes over and runs over him again. And you oh, see my the, God. You see its head collapse in on itself. <laughs> um, the worst is when they're inside Unicron, and you, like... Unicron's defense system is it'll grab anything inside of it and take it to this vat of acid and drop them in conveyor belt style. Oh, wow. And you see, like, three robots drop into it, and you get, like, four full seconds of them melting on screen. <laughs> and you see them falling in, like, no! It's so fucked up. Holy shit. Yeah, it's brutal. Yeah. But they're robots, so whatever. And then for the rest of that scene, you hear, click, ah! Click, ah, click. So as the scene is progressing and other stuff's happening, more and more people are dying. You hear them dying. Wow. Oh, oh man. Oh well. Like they give they gave Optimus's death a lot of screen time and presence, and they should have. But there are so many other important characters that just get completely wrecked. Mm -hmm. And plus, they had Orson Welles and Nemo on that. Yeah. Oh, poor Orson Welles. Mm -hmm. Your last roar was a toy commercial. Yep. Granted, it was a toy commercial that a lot of people liked. Yeah. A toy commercial that was more than just a commercial. It had something of a plot and some, like, effort put in. Mm -hmm. And some really beautiful animation. Like, I will still hold up, uh, 
the Megaton Megatron to Galvatron animation and Unicron's transformations mm. as some of the best animation from the 80s. Yeah? Oh, it is fantastic. I'll have to show you that when we're done here. Okay, I think I've seen the transformation. Like, it... The... <laughs> that guy just burned his own partner. Well, that's a jumpy little asshole. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Megatron to Galvatron has a lot of the, like, scan line stuff that was really popular in the 80s you don't see anymore. Mm -hmm. And then the Unicron transformation is just full of that detail, rich animation you got back in the 80s. Yeah. God, that must have been so expensive to do with all the shading they did. Oh, I can imagine. But hey, they had a lot of money and they got a lot of money. They had a lot of money and a Korean sweatshop. Mm -hmm. That's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get All out of here. All the little details and moving parts. Holy the shit. Details yeah. on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. What? Oh, so you don't actually Wait, do the hacking. Switch. It's a guard mission. Yeah. Okay. I guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast I was wondering as I if we were going to go into the do 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 I think there is stuff like that in this game, but not yet. Can you knock him into the fire? Probably. Burn heretics! Yeah, they seem to like jumping. Yeah. Ow. Bitch. Be like Mo Yep, yep there you go. can. You can be like Mogus or one of the Grand Inquisitors. <laughs> God damn it. They have amazing attacks. Yeah, they psycho crush her. Yeah. <laughs> or in this case, they're checking. Yeah. Maybe they're pigeons. I don't know. They probably are. Yeah. Bitch. Mark, Mark, crush you son of a bitch. Oh, that's right. You can actually charge your thing. Well, I just died because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was so not paying attention. No. <laughs> like, I have an excuse for not paying attention. I'm not playing. Yeah. Yeah, you just eat that super. Yep. There we go. Like, part of it was that I was trying to hit them into the fire. Yeah. And the other part of it was that I just was not paying attention because I'm an idiot. Yeah. Well, the fire seems like the most expedient way you can pull it That's off. That's why I was trying, yeah. There we go. You got all these M. Bisons coming in. Yep. Oh, that's right. Whoa! You can get your super off too. Mm -hmm. I've almost got it. You know, on the one hand, it seems kind of stupid that they're going for Bentley. On the other hand, I love it when characters notice, like, oh, the objective is the weak one, so I'm just gonna run past the strong one and deal with it. Yeah. Download complete. Now we can we find go. out exactly <laughs> what Octavio is up to. He's trying to poison the fish because he doesn't like fish. That would be amazing if that was actually his motivation. So, according ah. to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Yeah. Also, some big bits of any goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. Yeah, this is a really cool ability Murray gets in this game. Like, you know the vertical shit that we had to deal with in um, Sly 2? Yeah. 
Murray could make short work of that with this move. 